Hey guys, how's it going? And today we're going to be drawing a Mecha Godzilla face. So to start off with our God Mecha Godzilla face, we're gonna make a little oval right there like that. Like a little check mark right above it. Like that. And then it's gonna have a line that comes back like that. A triangle. And we're gonna have another little line behind it. And then right here this line's gonna come forward. This line's gonna come up and it's just gonna come back like that and then come down come back and then up to there we're gonna have a little line that comes up down and then this line we're gonna have a line that comes down and back that's just gonna come in and back and then a few more little lines right there and then a line that comes down, back, and up, down, back, and up, and then down, back, and up, like that. Then we're gonna have a little line right there, then a little line that comes back, like that. It's gonna come down, it's gonna go up, and then it's just going to connect down to right there. I'm actually going to make this line come up like that. And there's going to be a line that just connects right there to this little line. It's going to come out. Then that line is going to come down and then back in. We're going to have a little line right here that goes down, up, across, and back down with a line right there. With a little line right there. You can add a line that goes down and back up. Then we're going to have a line that comes out and then back in. And then this line's going to come down and then back in. And then a line that goes down and across. Like that. There's going to be a little line right here. And another line right there. We're going to have a line that goes down, across, and then back up for one of the teeth. And then this line's going to come back. And then a little square right there that just has a line that goes up across and then back down for another tooth there's going to be a line that comes back right there and then there's going to be a line that comes back down and across back up there's going to be a line that comes down right here comes across and comes back up. There's gonna be a little line right there, a smaller one right there. Then we're gonna make this one come up a little bit with a little line that goes out like that. Then you can have a line that comes up with a big line that goes like that. It's kind of like a rounded off circle. We're gonna have a little line right there for a little bit of detail. And then this line is gonna come back like that. We're gonna have this line come back like that. 
seven and a half point right there. We're gonna have this line come back and come up and then back and then another one like that. We're gonna have a line that comes down past that and then come across and up and then to the side to where that is. And then I'm gonna have a little line that comes like that with the little line up right there. I'm gonna have a line that comes down, across, and then out. It's gonna come back. And I'm just gonna have another little square right there. And then a line that goes out, down, back. And then a line that comes, and then we're gonna come back down here and add a line that goes down um, down, back, then back, out, down, across, and then just bring it up and connect it right there. We're going to have a circle inside of it with another one. Another little circle inside of that. There's going to be a line that comes down, across, and back up. And this line's going to come down and back up. It's going to be a line right here. And this line's going to come out and back in. There's going to be a line that goes out, out, and in, and then back. And there's going to be a big rectangle right there. Then I'm going to have a line that comes down, and then there's going to be a line. Then it's just going to come over like that. This line's going to come down, across, and then back up. It's going to come out with a big kind of rectangle square with a smaller one. And then one more line with a bigger one. It's kind of skinnier. This line's going to come back. There's going to be a line that goes out, down, back in, with another one right there. There's going to be a line that goes down, out, and back. Another one that goes up, across, down, back, and up. Yeah. There's going to be a little line right there. A line that goes up back down, and then it's just going to come across with two, one, and then another one. I'm going to make it a little wider, like that. And then this line's just going to come down, back up. I'm going to have another line right there, because I kind of messed up right there. Then we're going to have a line come back, down, across, and then back up with another kind of square rectangle that goes down, across, and back up. A line that comes down, and then that's going to come back and up with a little line right there. And then it's going to come back 
and then just follow that same shape like that. Then we're going to have a line that comes down and then across to where those are and then it's just going to come out like that with the line right there. Then up here, I'm going to have another line that comes back, down, and across. A line that comes down, across, back up, and down, and up. And this line's just going to come back like that. You can add some lines that go up for a little bit of detail on those teeth. Then right here, a small little skinny rectangle with a bigger one right there. We're going to have this line come up with another one that comes right behind it. A triangle like that with another triangle inside of it. And then there's going to be a line that comes out and down and then back out. I mean down. There's going to be a line that comes down and up space, then one that comes farther down and up, and then the start of another one. There's going to be some little lines in between them like that. Then these lines are just going to come up like that with another one that comes down. Right here we're going to have a few lines like that. Show a little bit of detail. A line that comes down and then there's going to be kind of like a triangle right there to kind of start the arm. There's going to be a line that goes down, back up. There's going to be a line right there, a line right like that, and then it goes back to kind of have a shoulder pad. There's going to be a few little kind of squares in it like that. There's going to be, and then a kind of rounded off triangle like that with another one inside. There's going to be a line that comes out, back, and a little line like that. Another one like that. And then there's going to be one that comes out, up, down and then back. We're going to have this line come up with a line like that. We're going to have this line come back with a line like that. Then down. Then over here we're going to have a line that comes down and back with some little kind of rectangles right there. Up here I'm going to have a line that comes straight down the middle with a line that goes up and back. A line that comes down, back, and up. A line that comes up, across, back down. And then a little, another one right there with a little space in between. I'm just going to cut and finish that off. There's going to be a line that comes down, and then a bigger one, like that. And, I'm just, and then we can add a few little lines like that on the spikes, on the tops. Then the start of another spike. You can have a line that comes down, one that comes across and down. There's going to be a line that comes out, up, and then back. With one that goes 
and then we're just going to follow that shape over again. There's going to be a line that comes out like that, and then a lot more of these little lines like that, with a line that comes down like that. There's going to be kind of like a circle right there that has a little smaller circle with a dot in it with a few little lines that come out like that. There's going to be a few broken lines on the uh, back of the mouth. We're going to have this line come up, line that comes across and up with a line right there. Right. And then we're, we can really just add some broken lines really everywhere to kind of show that there's kind of like a, some detail to this and it's not just, just plain like kind of rectangles and squares. You can really add some really everywhere. Some of them where there's some spots like that. Then you can have a line. Then you can have a big one that's kind of just coming across the spikes. You can add some more in the spikes. Then you can have some more, kind of, really everywhere. I'm going to have some come back, and then you can have kind of a lot on the face, because there's a lot of little small details on the face. And then the broken lines kind of just like cover a lot of that space up. And they're just little lines that just have a few spaces in them. Like that. You can add a kind of like a half square right there. A line that comes down, across, up, down, with a broken line right there. A broken line right here. And a line that comes down, and then across, I mean down, and then another one. Few lines that come back to the back and top of the mouth with a line that comes forward through them. I'm going to have a line that comes back and up with another one. There's going to be a broken line there, like that. Then you can have some broken lines that just go kind of through some of them, like that. You can have some more lines like that. And then you can have a few lines that's going to come back and up to kind of add a little more detail to the start of the arm. And there you go. That is how you draw a Mecha Godzilla. Kind of getting you way. Um, actually, you can add, just to make it a little white, thicker, you can add a line that comes down, across, and then back up because I thought the bottom was kind of skinny. But there you go. That is how you draw a Godzilla, I mean a Mecha Godzilla 2021 getting ready to shoot his um, fire ray atomic blast. Thanks for watching and hope you guys enjoyed. Now I'm going to color it.